वी आर टीम अन्वेषक अ ग्रुप ऑफ ट्वेंटी प्लस हाईली मोटिवेटेड मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मड्रास वी आर ऑन अ मिशन टू एक्सप्लोर द अनएक्सप्लोर विद आर लेटेस्ट रोवर गेलीलियो सिंस आर इंसेप्शन इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन वी हैव कॉम्पिटेड इन वेरियस नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल कॉम्पिटिशन लाइक द ए आर सी यू आर सी ई आर सी आई आर सी एंड आई आर डी सी गेनिंग इन वैल्यूएबल एक्सपीरियंस एंड नॉलेज दैट हैज बिन पास डाउन टू न्यूअर जनरेशन ऑफ द टीम वी वर्क डे एंड नाइट एट द सेंटर फॉर इनोवेशन एट आई टी मड्रास द परफेक्ट अब फॉर रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट वी मैनुफैक्चर आर पार्ट एट आर इंस्टीट्यूट वेरी ओन सेंट्रल वर्कशॉप Our team's unwavering dedication and passion have led us to great heights. So get ready to witness the incredible work of Team Anveshak and the feats of our beloved rover Galileo. Our team comprises of four modules: Mechanical, Electrical, Software, Science, and Corporate and Public Relations. Each module has a few members who are led by a module head. Mechanical subsystem is responsible for making a robust structure for the rover, while Electrical Software team takes care of its brain. Science subsystem fulfills the purpose of the rover by enabling it to test for the presence of life in soil. Corporate and public relations subsystem makes sure all these can happen by procuring funds and increasing reach of the team. This year's science payload of ARC is equipped with a scooper mechanism for soil collection and a collector box for storing the soil sample. The scooper attached to the arm picks up the soil from the terrain and transfers it to the collector box. The mass of the science payload is 3.3 kg including the scooper, its gripper and the collector box with the lid. The size of the collector box is 7.5 by 8 by 11.8 cm3 and the scooper's size approximates 3.5 by 8.6 by 12 cm3. The scooper mechanism is chosen because of its simplicity, efficiency and potential to collect a good amount of soil without any external mechanism as it is attached to the arm itself. We considered the terrain and ease of testing while designing the system. Moreover, the science payload is equipped with a camera which is capable of capturing cylindrical panoramic photographs. The proposed rover for the Anatolian Rover Challenge 2023 employs a highly optimized mobility system incorporating a rocker bogie mechanism with a bar differential. With a weight of approximately 55 kg, the rover can be stored in a box measuring 115 cm in length, 92 cm in breadth and 120 cm in height excluding the antenna. This design showcases exceptional adaptability to a wide range of terrains, allowing the six-wheel rover to traverse rugged uneven surfaces steep inclines and loose soil without getting stuck or tipping over the independent movement of each wheels ensure excellent stability in contrast to our previous iterations that relied on wheels made of foam and traction pad the current rover is equipped with custom 3d printed wheels designed to increase traction reduce weight and offer exceptional torque absorption making them highly suitable for the challenging martian like terrain with its exceptional reliability adaptability and robustness this design is the optimal choice for conducting a thorough exploration of the challenging martian like terrain the manipulator consists of a 5 degrees of freedom arm with a parallel grip and effector the shoulder and elbow joint pitch motion is facilitated by worm gear drive for achieving high reduction ratios and non back drivability the base rotation uses a pair of spur gears for high efficiency the pair of spur gears ensures back drivability to avoid system damage from any collision bell drive is used for wrist joint pitch motion not only to reduce the torque requirement at the wrist but also at the elbow and shoulder joints as it shifts the weight of the motor closer to these joints the roll motion of the wrist is also accomplished by spur gears as it vastly reduces the complexity of assembly of the end effector the gripping mechanism consists of two fingers attached to a pair of four bar linkages worm gear drive is used to drive these linkages as it provides strong gripping forces and non back drivability laser cut sheet metal aluminum is used for the links extensive stress analysis has been done to remove material from the links to optimize for minimal weight without significant losses in stiffness the manipulator weighs around 8 kg and can safely lift loads up to 10 kg flipping switches and pushing buttons to typing commands on a keyboard The entire electronic system of the rover is housed in a detachable electronics box. The box contains sockets to route wires from the manipulator and drive actuators to the system inside it. The drive motors are controlled by 3 STM32 that are linked to an Arduino Mega through an I2C connection. 
Uniqueness and Inspiration Upon observing the communication protocols used in various electronic devices, we were impressed with the advantages of using CAN. The ability of CAN to support longer communication distances and operate at speeds up to 1 Mbps allowed us to eliminate concerns about the length of the manipulator and significantly reduce the communication delay. A CAN bus is used because of its high range, resilience and adaptability between the RPI picos that control the actuators on the manipulator and the gripper. Strengths Jetson Xavier does computationally difficult tasks like object detection and video compression with minimal power requirement. Power Management the entire electronic system of the rover is powered by a 22.V and 14.8V lithium polymer batteries. A power distribution board is used to manage power transfers. This board uses buck converters to convert the battery voltages to output voltages of 5V and 12V. The board has reverse voltage production and under voltage production modules. A kill switch can be engaged to cut off the power to add to components in an emergency. A separate PCB has been implemented to monitor the rover state. The measured data are visualized in Faustlo Studio using the Jetson module's 2.4 GHz communication medium. Octocouplers are integrated into the board design to protect the sensitive components from excessive voltage. Coming to our communication system, we use the 2.4 GHz frequency range. We use Ubiquiti Rocket M2 routers for transmission due to its TDMA protocol which maximizes airtime efficiency. We use a custom GUI built using Rossbridge WebSocket along with Foxglove Studio for fast setup, easy debugging and receive trigger warnings for malfunctioning nodes. We have built a custom GUI which eliminates the requirement for manually entering commands through the terminal. It uses hours to visualize the manipulator status, provides camera feed from the cameras on the rover, ensuring that the operator is completely aware of the environment around the rover throughout the missions. We are using an Intel RealSense D415 stereo camera for obtaining visual odometry, point flow data and for Aruco marker detection. Adapt to Monte Carlo localization is used with LiDAR to get a post estimate of our rover. All our odometry data is used using an extended Kalman filter for more effective localization. Firstly, we test each module of the rover individually to ensure they are functioning properly. We do this by running a series of tests that are specific to each module. Once we are satisfied that each module is working correctly, we incorporate them into the final rover. We test the rover with different conditions that match the competition conditions. During the testing phase, we collect a lot of data on the rover's performance. This data is used to fine-tune the rover's performance and make adjustments to the design as needed. Our goal is to build a rover that is efficient, reliable and performs well in the competition.